Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sherlock Holmes. Last time we left off, I can't remember if... I mean, I definitely know we talked to uh, the guy inside there, but I don't know if the game Apparently, saved. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takumi Mark. Yeah, he wasn't so suspicious of those ones, now was he? That is a guy I believe we have to talk to. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Worthy of our inspection. Uh huh. There's like a a little, a little mark on there. See that? A drawing of Takunuman. Yeah. Fuck. Let's open that, I guess. We got an arm. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Good to know. Good to know. But what else do we got? There's a clock. Um, it's three o'clock. No, is it? It's quarter after three. Quarter after twelve. Damn it! This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. I guess that's all we need to know. There were two large boxes. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Oh, so we can do that. I want to pull this. Cut this rope. See what happens. I don't know where it goes. There's like a whole whole bunch of stuff, you know, up, up there. Like, there's a ladder you can get to, and, and there's a bell. Hello. What is this? It's a, that's a, a pair of pants. I'll tell you what. Hello, sir. Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Too fucking busy to chat? Are you kidding me? What the fuck you doing? You're not doing anything. Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. What a lazy fucker. Can't come up here. Must be hot in here, eh, Holmes? Must be a little toasty. Pull that down too. Anything else? There's an anvil. That's totally part of a clue. Or it's not. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a puzzle. We're going to have to puzzle it up in here. Because, like, look at... There's all those train tracks and stuff. Oh, look, there's another friend. Hey, where'd you come from? Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Are you the same dude? No, you're not the same dude. Uh, hello. A furnace for melting metal. Yes, that's what that is. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Um. That probably shouldn't be open. Just saying, you guys should know better. I mean, look at this. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. How do you know what whose horse that is? That could be anyone's horse. Literally anyone's horse. All the clues seem to be on that side of the room. Well then. Well then. Okay. Well, let's let's learn into the that one. We gotta go talk to Watson then, back at Baker Street. Break into Marley's office at night with Watson. All right. I mean, that should be fairly easy to do. I wonder if I can just, like, go back to the, just go back to Baker Street. Maybe Watson will be there. I don't know if we've got to go find Watson. You know. Yeah, no. Who knows. Not me. It is suspicious. I mean, this guy was terrified, and I don't think he's smart enough to, uh, try and pull something off like this. And the other guy, he's definitely in debt. He seemed like a little, a little suspicious, and you know, when the people died, they were able to get their collection, which he could sell to get the club out of debt, and kind of fund his political career. God, damn it, girl! I said no piano. Caitlin's up, Miss Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to. Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. 
He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. Someone's in fucking shit. I need to finish here first. Oh, hello. What are you going to do with it, Holmes? What are you going to do with it, Holmes? I'm gonna fucking inspect it. I'm gonna snoop through her mail. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. Absolutely. Okay, let's grab a... Uh... It would be easier to open this letter if I steam it. Let's prepare. Boil water in kettle. Okay, do I put the water in the kettle or just take I the kettle? I need to turn on the gas burner first. Okay, put the gas burner on first. There you go. Let me put that on to there. Excellent. And um, let's take this and we'll just cover it over that a little bit. Do I gotta move it? Hope I don't fuck up. Okay, yeah. I need to open it with something sharp. Let's take this big here knife, which is sharp, and we'll just cut him open! Peek see inside here. Alice, so you finally did it. You moved and settled your next, yourself next to him. You are a bold one. He'll fascinate you, but be cautious of him all the same. I'm writing to tell you that I found your father's boat. It is quite damaged, but still afloat. You can use it if you wish. You must know that your father was like a brother to me. If there's anything in any way that I can do to help you, please let me know. Anything, whatever the risk it may involve. Okay. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Let's ask her something to apply the glue. Let's ask her on a date. Let's take the little paintbrush. The pipette? Really? The pipette. Okay, do I gotta do this? Yeah. That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take the mare on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. She's on the balcony. Not that balcony, maybe this balcony. Just open this door. Now I'm on the balcony. Hey, woman! Your mail's here! How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... <gasps> what? We all she knows. Secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Unbelievable. Alice. Alice! Who the fuck is Alice? That's a song, by the way. Watson, oh, get your gun. I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Okay, to the hospital, which means we gotta get ourselves all disguised. So, um, let's go to the wardrobe. Uh, wardrobe. Casual suit. No, overcoat. No. Doctor outfit. That'll do. I'm a doctor now. Yes. How's that? Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Well, then let's go to the hospital. Where's the hospital? The hospital. Let's go to the hospital. I am a doctor. I will start prescribing people all the Oxycontin they need. You want some of some little children's aspirin? I'll get you some of that, too. Okay. Right. Hello, then. Patients right. visit this department for treatment and then return home. 
Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um... There's not a whole heck of a lot else I can I can do with this, to my knowledge. Oh, Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. Cubicle on the window. To the window. To the wall! Oh. Is that him? I hope that's not him. He does look sick. Ooh, he's the only one. He's the only one. I don't know where Watson went to, but, uh. Howdy, sir. You're missing an arm. That is just wonderful. Just freaking wonder. Oh my god, look at the bedpan. Okay, don't look at the bedpan. That's just nasty. Um. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. Alrighty then. So we got a little thing to do here. He's got an eye patch. Disease die. What else you got? You got something else there. Uh, marks on neck. Bound chains. Marks of disease. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Um, what else do we got? What else? What else? What else? Go, 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 go. Go, go, okay. Um, bound and chained, maybe. I don't think it would be a marks. I don't know. Fuck, go! God damn it. The smell of opium, opium den. Ah. Grease, crowded market. Okay, I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. Here you go. Cripple. Uh. Mark of disease, it's gonna be bound in chains. Do that. Character portrait incomplete or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I did it. Maybe I did it right. Uh, Albert is around 45 years of age. He is an archaeologist, an ex-member of the archaeological club. He is he is believed to be deceased by the other members of the club during Albert's expedition to South America. He suffered a disease and that affected his eye. Albeit lost his arm many years ago under unknown circumstances. He has a drug dependency and regularly visits an opium dam near a crowded market. He has chain marks upon his body. Excellent. Expedition time! We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Uh-huh. Well, actually, um... I have a photograph. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! Oh, shit! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down! He just I'm freaked sorry, out! my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. Uh -huh. That was what should odd. we do next, Holmes? Break into that guy's Why house. Are you paying attention. We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. I love taking advantage of things like this. This here he thing. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Weirdo. This address is almost invisible. <laughs> ah, hospital for this, Mr. Barrow. Mm, street, Mr. Byron, Mr. Blunt, as please confirm your appointment. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Alrighty then. I will have to use my magic skills back at the apartment. Hello, I'm going to steal your things. A man passed by a circus. That's why you don't take letters from strangers. Oh, you're still here? Yeah. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. No doubt. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Do you know where he lives? We'll drop him off for him. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him. Go to the circus. How are we going to find him? No, let's take his stuff. What should we do next, Holmes? I guess we gotta find his home somehow. 
Uh, okay, so that's done. Can we actually, like, leave the hospital? Uh, we gotta say. Uh, the foundry, we gotta, let's go to Baker Street. Let's go to Baker Street. See if we can, uh, use our magical science table. And figure out the rest of the address. Maybe we can do that. Some evidence requires additional investigation. I'm marked with a tooltip in your casebook. I did not know that was a thing. 